Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. In the last part, uh... Why is my volume on? Alright, fix it. In the last part, we set out around... Well, no, I lied, hold on. In the last part, we did the healer roll quest where we scoured the realm for Cyphocene, or Cyphocene and Lami, the white mage of that was with Ardbert. Uh, we learned the truth about Lami's actions, and yeah, it, uh, that role quest was needed to proceed further because we were getting to the point where we would have to do it anyway. So um, we're back under the ocean. Uh, thank you, everybody. What do you have to mean to tell? Now, as we were still, should we, as we're for where we should be looking, I rather doubt Emmett Selk would be sitting around in the open. I propose we follow the slope down towards the deeper trenches and keep an eye out for rock formations large enough to hold, house a stronghold. Let's pay off then. But watch your footing. The ground is still wet and I like, and, and like to still be slippery. Yeah, we good. We can handle it. As I mentioned in the last part, I went ahead and uh, mapped out what I can map out. Got whatever currents I can get. There are two more currents I still need to grab, which are in areas I can't access right now. So, uh, we'll get those as we move along the area. Let's see what's down here. There's a settlement down there. We should be able to finish the uh, the Stormblood store base store today. Maybe dive into um, some of the raid stuff. We'll see. Hmm. Run away! Alright. What's going on, Sahagen? The thinnest ones! They followed me! Why have you come? Was it you who took away our water? Ah, so this is where the Ondo make their home. I had wondered. Pray forgive us for any inconvenience we have caused. We were not aware your home people lived here in the Tempest. We need this great dome of air that we might conduct a most urgent search and thus beg for your understanding. Chief Ding, what are we to do? Are you emissaries of the Ancient Ones? The mysteries have stirred. We have seen the illuminated land shining through the, go the gloom of the abyss. If you're the emissaries, the Chosen, I bid you welcome. If you're not, I bid you leave. I am not sure I understand. Would you be willing to elaborate? It seemed not. I suggest we withdraw for the moment. Well, our people's skills are not, uh, still not improved after all this time. So what's the plan? Given your condition, I'm reluctant to start lingering, lingering here. That's it. Our presently, presently meandering surge would proceed far more swiftly. If we could call upon the Ando's local knowledge. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to know more about this illuminated land the Chieftain spoke of. Could it be the Elmet Selk stronghold, do you suppose? Perhaps he lit the lanterns upon his return? We cannot dismiss the possibility, but these Ando refuse to speak with us. Sessa, do you remember my first scheme for entering Yulmore? 
how I had planned to integrate myself uh, and by offering lucrative trading opportunities with the Ondo. The individual I dealt with was re reticent in manner and curious in custom, but we were able to reach an agreement nonetheless. I believe with that, with the right approach, we can build a similar relationship here. What kind of pros did you have in mind? That chief chain didn't fellow didn't leave us many options. If we are to ensure the swift discords, then we must need to locate its beginning. Displaying our, our all too dramatic arrival I have thrown the settlement into confusion. Were we to solve such problems as we as we have caused, and show our hosts thereby that our purpose here is not an 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 emic an an amicable an amicable to them. What kind of word is that? They may prove may, may bleh, they may prove amenable to reason. I smell chores. Very well, if it can be done quickly. What do you think? I have nothing better to offer, but I do want worry about what will happen if the Ando's tails end up leading us to a dead end. Cannot say for certain, but since this tribe has a deeper connection to the Asians and first meets the eye, it warrants further investigation. Thus, I cast my vote in favor of aiding the settlement for the time being. We will make you allies of the Yondo. We got no choice. Then settled. You still up prey to proceed with your investigations. The rest of us will see the, about fostering some goodwill. You won't believe what I've just bumped into. This is this is Pasha's own. The very fellow did business with the prior to our ill-fitted stay in Yilmor. I waited, and you did not come. Then the mice still came, and he but he visits did, he, but visits his visits did not continue. I'm truly sorry, Pasha's own. Things did not proceed as planned. Is there aught we can do for you by way of an apology? Hmm, perhaps. Where the dry return, a cavern to the north of his home to giant, giant crabs. We do not fear the crab, for we are swifter, swim swifter swimmers. But now there is no water. We run and they scuttle close behind, snipping and snapping with their claws. There are too many of them. Too many. Ah, I believe I can be of assistance there. What of you, Cecil? If you've not found a task, you're most welcome to join me. I appreciate the company. Where the dry return was a rather ominous ring to it. Dry has returned. All right, going up there. Let's check out this place. I'll tell you what, when I was going around getting whatever currents I can grab, this lower section right here, all between between these two bits, from um from all from all of this, this is all the lower section. I couldn't remember for the life of me how to get down there. You, could, you couldn't like fall down there, so I had to I had to remember how to get down there. And it took me like it took me uh it took me longer than it should have to remember how to get down there. There is a passageway to get under there from the Yondo Clip Cops right here. This music reminds me of it reminds me of um it reminds me of that one uh dungeon music from Dark Cloud 2. Um the Embassy Cavern. No, that's not it. Um I can't remember what that place was called. It was the third area that you go to along the beach. 
This is what this music kind of reminds me of. Crabs have been vanquished. You could crack, you crack, you could crack their skulls. Then you must be stronger than you look. I see you reached your quota first again. I shall never be your equal in such tasks. Still, I would say we have reduced the local crab population to a fair less threatening number. My thanks to both of you. You must have a reward. Nay, Pasha's own. This was part of my apology to you, remember? Besides, which the, lo the lack of water is our doing, for which we must also make amends. Might I convince you to tell us something about your village instead? I would very much like to learn more of you and your people. Very well. Before the flood came, it was said that our ancestral home was found in the seas to the south. It was utterly destroyed by the light. Only those who were out hunting survived. They swam, aimless and lost, until they spied buildings here on the ocean floor. Ooh. Strange buildings that they were, and long had they stood under the water, yet somehow they had never been they had been spared the scars of time and current. These structures provided shelter for my people, protection from the tempest's turbulent waters and the predators which hunted them within them. Their very existence seemed a miracle. The first settlers pondered their good, their, their good fortune. It was clear that the race who had built such wilderness had guided their course, and from this did they discern the truth. That the ancients had chosen us to serve as caretakers of their eternal sanctuary until such time as they returned. Thus, if it is judged that you're, that you're coming, and this great vanishing of water was but the ancient's design, we will, want, we will find warm welcome here. A truly astonishing history. Yeah, I cannot help but wonder how the significance or otherwise of our arrival be decided. The ancients have blessed us with protection and prosperity. If your presence serves to bring us the same, there will be no doubt in the matter. Seems simple enough. Then it would seem our early decision was the correct one. We thank, for the, we thank you for the lesson, Pasha's own, and we'll continue to do all we can to assist your people. Should you desire our help without any other trouble, pray do not hesitate to ask. You should return to the task at hand. Only, do try not to overexert yourself, my friend. The risk far outweighs the gain. So many side quests! Alright. Ah, Cecil, have you learned odd note? Not really. Fascinating. And precisely the sort of information I was hoping to hear. In fact, if you have a moment, I'd like to buy your eyes to confirm a theory I've been working on. Come. What's up? Where are we going? Now there are two tasks I'd have you perform. First requires you to inspect the buildings which surround the Ando settlement and note their distinctive characteristics. For the second, I wish you to take this knife and take scrapings of from one of the remnant walls. Pray be as thorough as you can. I shall be waiting here for the results of your investigations. Alright, what am I looking for?
The tall thunder towers feature more many elaborate windows, the likes of which you have never you have seen nowhere else. That was it. Well, that was easy. I'm supposed to chip away at a wall with a knife. And what have you discovered? Yeah, so I would agree that the windows are most distinctive. It would seem the structures appear the same to both you and your built to both your sight and mine. And you say you can do not do not cannot so much as scratch the wall, even with all your might behind the blade. Cecila, everywhere I turn in this place, my gaze is drawn by peculiar by peculiar materials, for which I do not have a name. The buildings had had investigated are prime examples. They appear rather appear to be constructed of ordinary stone, but I assure you, there's nothing of the sort. I, if pressed, I would describe the substance as a com as a composite of several mineral m properties blended to create a material of unparalleled durability. Even the Ronkin Empire, once the greatest power in Norvron, produced nothing which compares to this level of perfection. But if not the Ronkins, then who? Who were these ancients that Ando claimed was the architects of their sanctuary? I suspect our answer lies with the, with the, with the reason Evan Silk were Jew here to the, to the Tempest. He may simply have wished to retreat somewhere mere mortals would struggle to reach, but there are many such remote locations. Why here, specifically? Emmett Silk is devoted to his role, and thus we might assume his choice of strongholds somehow serves the, the Astine agenda. Or may have. It's a place more dear to him than any other. Uh, are you saying this is what built by the ancient Essians? That is my theory, that these structures are remnants of a time before history, of a star that was yet whole and unbroken. Such traces in the source would have been obliterated by the succession of unbroken calamities, but here in the first, they might have remained untouched for, mill for millennia. I copied the mur mural in the Katana Ravel. Ravel. Alme presented it to me during my visit to, fa to Fanau after our victory in Kalisha. Here in the first scene, by Amex Selk's own words, it depicts a city of Eon's past and a disaster which befell which befell it. The design is much simplified, of course, but do you see the familiar familiarities between its towers and those we've just known inspected? Mm, okay, yeah, they look kinda of the same. We were clo we we're close to the truth, I feel. Let's search the surrounds for another tower. One which matches the picture ne near enough to remove all doubt. From what I have seen, not more than sand and more than sand and more sand lies to the east, and the south held no such structures. I suggest we try our luck further north to the northwest. Alright. Oh good. It's one of these things, huh? See if I can actually find it. I probably won't. I might have to look up the place on YouTube. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm probably going the completely wrong direction.
Alright. Where am I going with this? Alright. Yeah. Totally wrong direction. First off, northwest is this way. I was going northeast. I know my directions. That was that's my that's I'll never find it at that at that rate. Looking for a tower. Yep, the pointy bits. This looks to be it. Ah, this is the mirror right large. Though I cannot guess at its purpose, it must have been an imposing sight. How much the tower's height lies hidden beneath the ground, I wonder. Centuries of our history have settled upon such ruins. Countless layers of dust and sediment. An ancient civilization, its existence forgotten by all except a handful of Asians. And yet, it did exist. They lived here in this city. But let us focus on what we've learned so thus far. The Yondo Chieftain spoke a mysterious stirring of the land illuminated. Judging by his words, he believes this phenomena related to the ancient's return. Thus, we can surmise that what the Ando saw as shining the abyss was, in all likelihood, another remnant of this age-old civilization. And who else would light the lanterns, as Reem put it, than Emmett Silk himself? It is almost certain that he is there. But if we are to find the stronghold in a timely manner, we seem to gain the Andal's trust from our swiftest path. I only hope our deeds are enough to win them over. Thank you for assisting me with my investigations. I shall seek out your, our companions and share what we have learned. Much as I'd like to tell you to sit down and leave the rest to us, your condition demands that we make all reasonable haste. If you're not too weary, it may, it may be useful to speak with Pacha's own again, and ask if there is no aught else he is willing to divulge. Notes, friend. You and your companions have done much to repair the damage caused when the water is parted. Anything else you can do? Hmm. Have you been to the walls of the Forgotten? I think I just came from there. The remnants of the, the, remnants of the Northwest, yes? You visit them on Biden? Shh, could it be that your footsteps are guided by the ancients? I believe maybe so. Listen, he, listen then, and I'll tell you of our plans to bring the light, light to the walls, that we might answer the shining call of the illuminated land. We requested to defend this craftsman to shape for us a, a sacred lamp. He is, uh, he is an odd for land dweller, choosing as he does to live in the ocean, but his skill is beyond the question. It is concerning, however, that we have heard nothing was progress. If you were to visit this artisan and return with our long-awaited land light, then any doubts to your purpose will be laid to rest. His name is... Oh, it's Grenold! You will find his workshop in the middle structure to the south. 
No wonder no one, be, no, no wonder no one, no one found him. He's been under the ocean the whole time. How the hell did he get down here? I guess it goes all the way to the surface, judging by the look of this giant oversized tower. Is this even a lift? I guess I can't learn it. I guess, uh huh. No, that's a roof, unless that's an elevator. Grenade, buddy! Oh, that's just great, that is. He minds playing tricks on me now. Look, Grinald, someone's come to visit you in the bottom of the bleeding ocean. Or it might be your, is your, your ghost, eh? Go on, foul shade. Feast yourself with me, rotten soul. I've got no use for it. A craftsman that what can't craft is more pointless than a sea slug with, with a don't with a don't with a dome and hammer. And that's an insult to bloody sea slugs. You need to psych yourself up, buddy. You can't be having that kind of mindset. Eh? You wouldn't be trying to raise my spirits now, would you, spirit? Not what you expect from a servant of the underworld, of the netherworld. I'm not dead, sir. I'm clearly alive. Oh, you look like somebody I know. From the source. Has it really come to this? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Not impressed with what you see, lass? Aye, well, I may have let myself go a bit. But that, this, this was meant to be me underwater sanctuary. A place where I could concentrate on me work far from the distraction of the outside world. And yet, here we stand. Now, what's so damn important that we ha you'd have to dive all the way down to the bottom of the bleeding tempest to bother me? Ah, the Ondo's lamp. God's curse me, empty head. I've not done so much to make it start. I'm worthless than a sea slug. Nay, the slime left by the sea slug. Me delivery dates long past. Me workbench is untouched. And I call myself a bleeding artisan. Yeah, you've, you've heard their beliefs, have you? Bringing light to them r ruins and being act of deep religious and cultural significance and it was my privilege as a craftsman to be tasked about the providing a ritual instrument worthy of the occasion but I just can't bloody well I mean mine is a bling blank it's like I pissed away the last drop of inspiration tell me you got someone to show me some of that will give me a muse of right good kick up in the arse The Ando want to honor the covenant of these of these ancients, so their answering lights might get got to blaze with the right kind of brightness, like the sparkle the sparkle I've caught in a crystal. But just being a sparkly is not enough. It's got to dance with joy and sorrow and a sense of hardship and dirt. You know what I mean? Your thoughts turn to Lamy and the crystal you discovered at the end of her journey. Perhaps Grenoble could find inspiration in that. This is where the role quests come and come to play. This is where you, this is where you'd have to stop and do the roll quest if you had and if you had not done them. I let the Yondo down, I but more than that, I let myself down. I might as well go back to men and kettles. What have you got there? Such a striking beauty. It shines with heartache and laughter and the trans transience of life, like the turmoil of history made manifest. Uh, I can see the brilliance of the crystal's legacy. Ah, uh, he'd never capture such a clean, not if you labored a hundred years. But bugger me if I don't mean to try. Where's me tools at? Me tools, goddamn ye! I must sit work to work, but the bleed with the feeling fades. Before the feeling fades. 
I can feel it, a vision forming in my mind. Step aside, lads, and let me itching hands get to work. Fun fact, the source variant to this guy is one who, do, who manages all the relic weapons. And done. I'm taking the wonders that Crystal showed me and channeled them into a new shape that fits the Ando's spiritual character. Good lord. He came up with all this with just a crystal. Not a bad job if I do say so myself. And to think I was this close to hanging up me hammer for after studying the craft of the little agents. I've been across the length and breadth of Norvron and gobbled up every scrap of crap and wisdom I could find. <clears throat> but no matter which technique I tried, me work just, just was just no cotton comparison. I couldn't even figure out how to like, how they put the damn buildings together. A mystery for the ages. That's what drew me here in the first place. That built me workshop, got the forges burning, then lost me blood and bleeding will to craft. If the gods are crystal years, or I might never have gotten it back. I won't pry into your business, but I reckon your little miracle has been through has been through the kind of journey that sings about that they sing that they sing songs about. The echoes of the memory it holds just speak to it to your heart. I can still feel them coursing through me. The inspiration's not fading away, it's well up stronger and <clears throat> well, stronger and stronger. <clears throat> Give me a chance, and I reckon I can weave the Crystal Saga into other things as well. But bugger me, I'd almost forgotten the Ando's commission. If you could drag this lamp over to Tulsa's off for me, I'll stay here and dream up new armaments for you to try. <clears throat> and now am I supposed to drag this whole big, la big ass lamp? What am I, Superman or Superwoman? <clears throat> so. This is where you go to if you want um, the relic gear for um, your characters. Unfortunately, it's all kind of bad. I might take these because um, these in particular make pretty decent um, glamour for later. And the rest I don't need. In case I, in case I want to uh, change up my glamour in the future. Again, how 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 was I supposed to care that this big ass? Where did this big ass lamb go? It's certainly, it's not gonna fit in my bag. What is that you have there? I got a big ass lamp. The sacred lamp. And this one has kept this promise. My people will tell me of many deeds you performed in the name of the aiding of aiding the cups. Now you have come to me bearing the light we had almost surrendered hope to ever seeing. We can doubt your purity no longer. Your word was the will of the ancients. Yes, the time for fear has passed. We shall take the lamp and unveil its austere illuminations upon the walls of the forgotten. Gather there with your companions, we shall speak again once our prayers have been offered. Again, how do we carry this big ass lamp from the workshop all the way to here? And where the and how did we carry it? Oh, さっきの職人に見せてた抜け殻みたいなクリスタルあれはもしかして俺たちの光のクリスタルじゃないか did Lami who had a special connection with you I thought I thought you were always watching God damn it なんだよ俺だって多少は遠慮して
Sorry about that. Phone call. それであのクリスタルどうしたんだそうかラミットの今になってそんな本音が聞けるとはな あいつらと来たら本当に最後まで死んだ後にこんなに多くのことを知るなんて思わなかったお前のことも瀬戸のことも俺たちの世界が どれほど仕事くて希望にあふれてたかもいつかあいつらとまた巡り合うことができたとしたら話のうまくない俺だがどうにか伝えてやりたいと思うよありがとなお前を必ず この旅の終わりまで連れて行くすまない集まるのが遅くなった無事に彼らの信頼を得られたようね多少歯がゆい思いもしたが まあそうでして働いた甲斐もあったってものだ特にお前の念押しが聞いたそうじゃないかさすがだなヤシトラから聞いたよあの建物はアシエンの時代のものかもしれないとね あいつらの故郷かエメトセルクから昔の話を聞いた時はなんだかあまり実感がなかったけれどそうだねこうして目にしてみると改めて立派な都市だったのだろうとわかるそれは彼らにとってどれほどの時を経たとしても取り戻したい大事な世界なのだろうバカよね仮に全ての世界を統合できたとしてもいなくなった人までは取り戻せないじゃないでもそうね私だったらどうしたかな体の方は大丈夫ですか? あら、祈祷は終わったのかしら? いにしえの者に我らが感謝思い伝わったはず何時らにも感謝するならば教えていただけるでしょうかあなたのおっしゃった明かりの灯り湿地について ここより西に広がる大海溝常は漆黒のその裂け目に先日
明かりが灯った我らすぐに向かい確認したそこには大きな町あった<音声>その町と我らの住む口ぬ家とてもよく似ている間違いない古の者にわかに目覚めたのだ我らは恐れ千代だまり戻った以来導きあるまでかの地を犯すべからずと決めた《その場所には今も行くことが可能なのですか》うん水なき今切れもたぬ何時らでも到達できよう我何時らを導きの人と信ず故に仲間に案内をさせよう。Sweet, how simple. Eat the mule. Check out this city that, that, that they've been seeing. Chieftain has bade me guide your steps to the illuminated land. Come, the way lies downwards. Follow the path of coral and rock and join your comrades below. Alright. All are gathered, yes. Then I shall dis describe the path you must take. Enter the cavern beyond, follow the. Oh, goddammit. Fucking Nopulus? Nopulus? Enter the cavern below, beyond and follow the pet wall down, then down, and down. Once at the bottom, find a passage to the northwest and continue west and west and west. The way is not simple. Keep your friends within shouting distance and do not stray into the deep. Just before the journey's end, you'll find the Calvin Gap and the bear which placed at its mouth. This obstacle will fade once you raise a hand towards it. We have made it so. A most, sus a mo a most sustenance explanation. We thank you for your guidance. <clears throat> right, deeper into the depths we go. Alright. Deep, deep, deep. What are you doing, Ryan? Reen? I wouldn't want to slip, huh? What if, uh, haha, -ha, I do this? Our guide bades us travel to the cavern floor and thence, and thence to the west. It would seem these twisting tunnels defy such simple inf instruction. Rather than rely on direction alone, suggest we scout with care and relay the path with the head of those who can't come behind.
Ah, uh, Soso, you have a choice of two routes from here. You can take uh, you can take either the long way to the south along the rocks or skip along this coral branch as Azay has done. I for one shall be following my sister's example. <clears throat> huh. Stone slip. barrier way up there there you are come on I think if we found that I found the town we were looking for I know I can see it I can see the barrier from a mile away Looks like there'll be a hunt monster. It is. Ball. Here, this must be the bear that Anna spoke of. Well, that was rather more arduous than expected. I feel a sudden rush of gratitude for the smooth roads of our ancestors cut through the wilderness. So it was a treacherous path indeed. Now I believe one of us needs a better raise a hand to banish the next this next obstacle. Cecil, I elect you to do the honors. gone gone just like that I suppose we should head in like it's not this tunnel will be just as perilous as the road we walked to get here let's all see where we are our surroundings shall we all right Well, I'm in here. See if I can hunt down any more currents. There's Reen checking out the sights. Need to grab, but it's the south. Christ, look at this place. Ah, he wasn't joking, it's an entire city. This place reminds me of Xanarkand from Final Fantasy X with all the tall buildings. あなたたちにも見えているのね。温度の潮だまりにあった建物は実在する遺構だった。けれど、この町は訳が違う。いわば大規模な魔法なのよ。開口の上に気づかれた。<笑> <いわば大規模な魔法なのよ。笑>
Jesus Christ, this is an enchantment. Good lord, a little, a little, a little over the, over the top, don't you think? <coughs> Sessa, did you know the style of the, of the architecture? It's just the same used for the remnants of the cups and the mural's painted towers. Look closely. Emmett Suckle has not simply reclaimed these ruins. He has layered the semblance of an entire city upon them. Gods, the magnitude of, of his artifice is staggering. Though it pains me to admit, we did not fully understand the feats of, what, of which an old world Asian is capable. Ah, <coughs> uh, I don't need any of that. I'll, I'll take it anyway. <coughs> I'm not reading. It's intimidating, yes, but we have to start somewhere. Why don't we have a closer look at the tower to the southeast? We might be able to reach it from the edge of the trench. Alright. Last one is pretty close. There it is. The last travel current. Good lord, look at this place. In the murky depths below. Makes you wonder what the old world used to look like. Thread down here too. Where did that thing pop up out of? There was no ether egg down there before. What's this? Look at the size of those doors. Now I know how pixies must feel. Sessa Rai recognized. Welcome to the city of Amarut. Will you be riding the lift? What? The walk building just welcome you? Mayapa is not so passing strange. Did Emmett Sell not invite Sessa to his abode? Just plain they thought coming was expected. And where will the slip be taking us? The lift services at every level of Ankor of Akora Heights, but it's presently configured to convey passengers directly to the ground floor. Well, there you have it. In the absence of house of some few hundred yams of rope, we have little choice but to accept the offer. With emphasis on the we, I'm not about to let you walk into that place alone. I wish to ride the lift. As you wish, the lift will arrive shortly. Next stop, ground floor. Facilities include the beer of the minister of the administrator, the beer of the architect, and the cap capital capital. Jeez, look at this place. It's massive. It's only, it's only as at this distance that you start to realize just how big the buildings truly are. What did that voice call the place, the city? Amarut? <clears throat> Amar Am Amarat? <clears throat> look, over there. Ooh. Who's that? Is that a person? Ah, no, my mistake. That's a giant. Doesn't seem to have noticed this yet. Giant or no, a resident of this place may have much and more to tell us. I say we make the first move. Alpha Node, you can't just. Ugh. Ugh. 
Damn, he's tall. Good lord, look how big he is. Probably excuse my boldness, but might I ask you a few questions? Good lord. Since you can't really, since it's not really voiced, even though there's sound, so I'll just read them. Uh, what adorable costumes! Are each children on an excursion? This district has much to tell you. How odd! That sounds like no language I've ever heard. Yet yeah, I understood every word. Just as he understood us. <clears throat> and which district is this exactly? You must be lost, poor things. You stand in the Poly Lurite district, wherein lie the institutions most vital to the management of our star. It tells me absolutely nothing. Can you tell us who rules the city? Who rules? What a curious question. May I be referred to our supervising body, the Convocation Under 14? So Emmett Selk isn't the leader here. Emmett Selk is a member of the Convocation. Were you hoping to witness its deeds firsthand? <laughs> Hardly surprising, I suppose. The whole world holds its breath on uh, as the final days draw near, and our brightest minds race to implement their plans. Thus, you must understand that getting an audience at this time will be next to impossible. You should hurry home now before your families begin to worry. Do you need me to walk you back? N no, thank you. We'll be fine. Very well. Take care, little ones. God damn, he's he's, impo he's quite the imposing figure. And he's gone. What was that all about? To my eyes, these people appear as arcane entities. I suspect Emmett Suck wove them from ether, much as he can reconstruct the rest of the city. The final days. Such words will befit the oblivion described us to us by our Asian foe. A catastrophe of unprecedented scale which did set in motion of the summoning of Zodiar and then Tidalin herself. But that happened centuries and centuries ago, didn't it? That man spoke as if they were rushing to avert a disaster here and now. Unless, for these people, the distant past is the here and now. I believe that was the right of it, Master Alphanode. This ethereal Amarat and its residents appear to be phantoms of a different age. Emmett Selk hath resurrected a memory, a moment in time before, from before the star was sundered. Good lord, just how much power does this guy have? So, we find ourselves in a long destroyed city inhabited by the long departed. An unusual situation, to be sure, but at least we're par able to parley with these ancients. In fact, they seem downright eager to chat. I say we use it to, to our advantage. Split up and take up some convers strike up some conversations. See if we can't learn the location of our quarry. And while we're at it, it wouldn't hurt to wheedle our what out a few more details regarding this convocation of fourteen and their impending disaster. To mingling then. Let's meet back here when our jaws start aching. All right. Size of these buildings, the size of the, the size of the walkway in general is, is massive. Hmm. 
would seen the hall as, as, as a host of the most precious visitor this day. Precocious visitor this day. And what, pray tell, shall be the subject of our discussion, young one? Ah, the convocation and handling of the coming peril. It is only natural that you should have questions. Shall we begin with the members of themselves? As all know, the fourteen are the wisest and most pu puissant pu among us. I probably botched that word up. They are the stewards of order, responsible for decisions which keep this sort of turning season after season. Be it the Speaker, La Habrea, or the Emissary Ildebus, each seat is occupied by an elected sage of surpassing intellect. Logriff, Mitron, and itself, their individual titles have, as a gesture of respect and a matter of tradition, become synonymous with their incumbents. Thus, it was with great incred incredulity that I greet this recent rumor of that seat in the convocation is soon to be left vacant. If proven true, it would be an unprecedented, unprecedented development and testament, testament to the immense pressure upon under which our saviors are toiling. In any event, I, for one, am confident they shall deliver our star unto salvation. Oh. Familiar names. Great, good gracious, child. Where is your family? You should not be alone in a time like this. Right along, go home. Quickly now. You're not heard. Though yet confined to the lands across the sea, a terrible phenomenon afflicts the star. They are calling it the final days. To said it starts suddenly. A cacophonous keening from beneath the earth. A sound that starts all living things within earshot and wrests it from us control of our creation magics. Once that happens, all is lost. Fear, pain, despair. Every dread impulse is siphoned from our minds and given a substance, an eternal fall of fiery rain, an incessant spawning of nightmarish beasts. None can point to the source of the phenomenon. It is as if the star itself has fallen ill, as if a force in an a mechel <coughs> to life now festers and spreads. It is only a matter of time until Amarat too respond, resounds throughout this discordance uh, squall. He's to stay with your loved ones, child. Stay with them. Ooh. Uh, I don't have a family, though. Because War of Light doesn't have a family, apparently. Or orphans. There's an ether over there. I want to go and tune to that real quick. Actually, I think, I think uh, Sturo will take us straight there, so... Um... An audience with him itself. I'm afraid you have the wrong office, little one. And besides, he'll be far too easy to feel the questions of curious children. Surely you've been told about the looming catastrophe. Every resource available to the convocation must be spent upon ensuring a world survives. They have yet to make an official announcement, but it's said that the 14 are moving forward with the planet's scarce credible proportions, one which promises to grant will to the very star itself. They will invoke our mightiest spells of creation to birth an entity of all encompassing magnificence, and then they will rewrite the laws of existence. Tis a huge undertaking, and it must be completed ere the corruption spreads this far. I shall say to you again do not hold out hope for an audience. Alright, I learned a couple of interesting things. Hello, sir. Cecla, if I was not certain before that I am now, the people of the city believe they face the end of the world. I cannot I cannot imagine what purpose compelled Emmett Suck to recreate this ancient Amor Amorot. And yet, 
I fancy I hear his words to us echoing throughout this ocean trench. He would have known. He would have a story now. He would have a story now. We can compare notes once the others return. Hopefully, then our next move will become clear. would seem our conversation were much alike. A looming disaster, creation magics running rampant, and this convocation's efforts to bring salvation up, out of chaos. I suppose there was talk of little else in the time when these events came to pass. Uh, Uriangir, if I may, what are your thoughts on the ancient scar of creation? A fascinating discipline, indeed. Aught the mind can conceive may be rendered in reality. All that is required is a clear concept upon which to focus one's will. It is not dissimilar to the primal rites at the top of the Asians, wherein ritual ceremony breath life into fragments of myth and legend. I see we arrived at the same conclusion then. The people who lived in the age before the Sundering were blessed with vast reser re res reserves of mana. No matter how drained these creation magic must be, it must, it must seem, it seems they paid the cost of not more than a fraction of the ether which coursed through their own bodies. If we were to attempt the same, such spells would soon deplete our energies and then seek to draw the balance from elsewhere, from a, from a horde of crystals, it may have, or even from the very land itself. Thus, when this art of creation was placed into our hands, it became, in effect, a means of, for destruction. An interesting matter which no doubt bears for the study. But despite all these revelations, I fear we're no closer to finding M itself. Has anyone learned aught which will lead us to this location? Not directly, mayhap, but from what we've heard, it seems the convocation of the 14 is sequestered in the nearby Capitol building. When we went to see for ourselves, the intendant wouldn't let us through without a riot permission. So we tried our luck with the Bureau of the Administrator, where we thought these permissions might be issued. The clerk there said he couldn't help since our names didn't appear on the registry. And that was where we gave up. I wonder though, Se I wonder though, Cecila, could you be eligible for one of these rites? The voice in the lift seemed to know who you were. It might be that like, your name was registered at the bureau as well. Worth a look, I'd say. Meanwhile, I'll go back. I'll head back to the capital and search for a less official point of entry, just in case. Pray allow me to accompany thee on my on the reconnaissance. An arcane perspective may prove useful. I think I'd like to speak with more of these ancients. Maybe they know something about that could help Cecil cure Cecil's condition. Would you mind coming with me? Of course, I don't mind. I just lead the way. Then you still and I will be busy ourselves with further exploration. There is surely more intelligence to be had. And so we part ways once more. This time, however, well, let's reconvene in front of the capital. Oh, this quest. Oh, that's the ether currents. So, four, and then there's the one from the story quest. I believe that's all five. Yes. Check out this, uh, this etherite, attuned to it, and get our last um, etherite of Shadowbringers. We have we have a now complete, and we'll have now a complete list with teleportation until Endwalker. There we go. Our list is complete.
isn't too far away. A visitor's right. Yes, I can assist you. Full name, please. Sussler Rye. Please wait near the counter while I confirm your details. That's the Rye. Your application is ready for collection. As your residency was approved by Emmett Selk himself, further forms of identification will not be required. Here are your application documents. Submit them at the Bureau of the Secret of the Secreta Secretariat, and the clerk will issue you with a visitor's right of the capital. Well, that was simple. Thanks, guy. That whole area above me, where that fate is, that's all I need flying to get to there. You know, as big as the area as it is, there's not a whole lot of monsters. You'd think this place would be crawling with monsters, but not really. I still can't believe- I still can't get over the size of this place, man. Even after all this time, this place is freaking massive. But I guess if you're as tall as, as um, these ancients are, I guess that's kind of- it's, it makes them more reasonable. Next, please. I'm visiting the capital, are we? Please take a seat. Your name will be called upon once your application has been processed. Look at these benches. We're shorter than the benches themselves! Good lord! Our head just barely goes over the seat. And look at the <laughs> This is funny. Look at the size of him compared to me. I'm like an ant. You, I think, are from a time beyond ours. Have you followed in the wake of Emmett Selk? Well, he knows we're not from his time. Nay, there is no cause for alarm. I am simply a shade. Here and not here. I know not only that my name is Hythlodeus, and this city is in a recreation, a phantom moment plucked from the well of history. He's got awareness. They, these others seem unaware of their pale existence, but I wonder if Emma Selk's mind was distracted when it came to my recon reconstitution. A stray thought would have been enough. Typhlodeus will realize the truth, for example. We were close friends once, you see. Yet, in spite of my perception, I play the same role as all the rest. A bit part meant to bring color and noise to this well-crafted stage. Too much scrutiny, and we shall burst like the fragile bubbles we are. Thus, I'll tell you again. My presence is not to concern you. I wish only to share your company whilst we wait. If you've come this far, then you know the catastrophe which awaits us on, on our morrow. The 
final days, what began as isolated incidents soon swelled into a world-spanning threat. The Convocation of 14, well, it was 13 at the time, endeavored to create a will of our star. They would repair the fundamental laws of order and halt spread of destruction. But creation on such a scale required an immense source of power. Of those who still live, nearly a half offered up their lives in the name of salvation. And from their sacrifice, Zodiac was born. Just as we had hoped, he reached forth and halted the march of oblivion. Yet, how our star had suffered, so many species lost, the land was blighted, the waters poisoned, and even the wind had ceased to blow. Once more did our people give themselves to Zodiac, another half of our race sacrificed to cleanse the world, to ensure that trees and grasses and myriad tiny lives would sprout and grow and flourish. The cycle of life had begun anew, and we could reconsider the means by which we might protect it. The Convocation decided thus, we would nurture our world until it was bursting with vitality. Then, when the time was right, we would offer some portion of its living energy to Zodiac. In return, he would restore to us those, br those brethren whose souls had fed his strength, and together we would resume our role as stewards. There were, however, those who disagreed with this plan. They argued that enough had been sacrificed to Zodiac, that this new world should belong to the new lives, lives newly born. These dissidents uh, surrendered their life energies to the creation of Hydaelyn, an incarnation of their imposing belief. And for the first time in history, our people stood divided. Know you then how this conflict ended? Hmm, I thought you might. Emmett Selk has ever been a champion of the will of Zodiac. The original plan may have been set back by millennia, but he will not have abandoned his course. He will pay the price for our return by whatever means is necessary. And though he may carry himself with a certain glide of ease, Emmett Selk is not a man to bear his burdens lightly. In fact, I imagine they have only grown heavier with every passing century. terrible weight he has chosen to carry. Sus the Rye. It seems your turn has come. Pray do not let me keep you. There's one last thing. You walk with another at your side, yes. He's talking about Ardberg. Nay, I see no definite, definite, definite form, just the faintest suggestion of a second soul. I doubt it visible to anyone but me. Otherwise, I assume only you can see it here as this ethereal companion. Sounds about right. <laughs> Your connection is hardly a coincidence. In our time, the two of you were one. The color of your soul sells the tale. Oh. A, a hue that a distinctive cannot be mistaken, no matter how thin the soul is spread. 
This is just the kind of fate I might expect from one such as she. Surely him and Silk has recognized the hint of her in you. Sasslerai. Fare you well, my old new old friend. May you find what it is you seek. Oh. Sounds like there was. It sounds like, uh. interesting. The two of you were one in their, in their time, huh? In our time, huh? Your visitors are brought as requested. When you wish to gain audience, gain admittance to the capital, simply present the document to the attendant within. Very interesting. You know, but even if I just go to the <laughs> go to the ether, right? As big as this place is, it's such a long even with the mount, it's such a long way. Finally, you were gone so long, I was on the verge of mounting rescue party. How fair do you and your bu bureaucratic ventures? I got it. I see my instincts were correct. And a good thing too. Uriange and I wait a chance to break into the capital, and an official entrance is by far the more attractive option. Our capital boasts is not a single armed sentry. It would seem that in our, my, their time they did not deem it needed, needful to post guards. The windows and doors, however, appeared heavily warded. Though mi mightily did we strive, with strength mundane and magical, we failed to budge them even a fraction of one elm. Mayhap was simply the case that M itself's precreation did not extend their usual function. We didn't try everything, of course, but we thought it best to conserve our end time and energy for more pressing matters. Speaking of which, Reen and I tried asking about a cure for you. The problem is these things just didn't exist beyond Amaroth's today. They will happily tell you of their own tales, but whenever we attempted to explain our situation, the conversation quickly become muddled. One of you, Cecilia, was not worthy of interest said during your efforts to retain a right? Kind of. I met, I met some guy who, who, who had a sense of awareness. A great sacrifice of life in exchange for their brethren's resurrection. And they say all the asking scheming has been lean, lean to this? All this time. But if they mean to, ena to enact this plan, then things won't end with a rejoining. Aye, I thought we knew that their intentions in full. To restore the world to its former glory and in turn empower Zodiac to reclaim his throne as the will of the star. Yet that was merely a step along the way. I hesitate to put it into words, but we have to assume that following the final rejoining, the Asians mean to draw on the lives of the source to make the sacrifice to Zodiac. That does seem the most likely scenario. Mayhap those who ally with the Asians will be spared that fate. But what value is there in surviving when all our history and all our struggles will be erased? I cannot conscience. Con I cannot conscience such an act. Of course, of course not. And what's to say not what's to say not of what, what Emmett Suck pl plans for the Exarch's power? Do we stand by and let him threaten our future as well as our past? We need to find him, Cecil. And when we do, make make your mark. Change the course of history in a way that felt that's felt by those who came before and those who came after, by everyone you've ever met. Change things so that even my own, my other selves. Dying somewhere in that future calamity will smile and say, I knew you would win. Is finding Emmett Suck the only way? He created an entire city. It'll take everything we have to defeat him, if we even can. 
And if you push that hard in your current state, the light will break free. The decision is to press on our lives with you. Just, it li it just as it lies with every, each and every one of us. I don't care about any of these these of this material. Shadowbringers, it's the final quest. Alright. I'm actually gonna start it right now. Usually when it comes to the final quest, I always use save it for the video for the video for a separate video. But there is a lot of shit there's a lot of shit that goes down. Um, so I'm going to actually get to the point where we get to, um, so we get to these, the final dungeon. Do you remember what we talked about that? Do you remember the talk we had at top of the tower and Mortsuk? I'm still one of the same mind now as I was then. I don't abandon you and you don't abandon me. And together we make a difference in this fight. There's always hope that if we look for it. I saw it again and again as you tore those veils of light from the sky. If we keep taking the next step forward, there's a chance we'll find a way to save you. So, no matter how long it takes, or how much it hurts, you can count on me to keep on walking. <clears throat> <clears throat> Father, we spoke of the disaster we would bring upon our own heads. <coughs> a ceaseless conflict. <clears throat> Imagine how you would see, you would sneer to see what's become of the first, not to mention your perilous predicament. And yet, you can de deny the fire your deeds have ignited in the people's hearts. You achieve what may, my logic and ideals never could, uniting despaired peoples under the banner of hope and common purpose. Without you, that giant talus would never have raised its head. I have borne witness to many of such miracles at your side, and will do so again. This is but another tat rop school in the road. So, come, let us travel together. Drag me through yonder and danger, as you would want to do, and I shall endeavor not to slow you down. As well as well thou knowest, if you are to usher um, M itself from unto his rest, we must need bind as an asking soul, and then shatter it with an overwhelming force. The former task requireth our sight, in which I have prepared upon the exarch's asking, no less though, twas never ever mine to attempt to provide said boon. The future whence our noble friend doth hail is a world fallen to asking artifice, and he would not see such grim history repeated. In a sense, and self's destruction will be the culmination of the exarch's efforts, a reward for all that oh, he hath, hath endured these many years. Yet even thou as strivest into the jaws of peril, forget not that his fondest wish and that of many others besides is to survive unto the morrow. Tis in pursuit of that, of that happiest of outcomes I do pledge to remain at thy side. Our time in the first has been ever has been a never ending in succession of trials, as arduous as our path and source ever was. Yet though all of our journeys together, though through that deep and foreboding wood, you have helped me stay true to my convictions. Thus would I return the favor. Do as your heart decrees, without hesitation or regret, and that is all I will say in the matter. Well, this is put everyone in a solemn mood, hasn't it? Honestly, we're not even sure this will, this will be the end of it. But I suppose we should speak our minds when we have the opportunity. You taught me that much in Amarang. So forgive me this moment of sentiment, Cecla. By dragging me into this sorry mess, you've given me the chance to think and, and act as I should have. For rain's sake, words cannot express how much this has changed my life, or how grateful I am for your support. So I shall express my gratitude through action instead. No matter where you decide to go, I will be there guarding your back. Thanks, buddy. What's up, Reen? When Philia entrusted me with her power, she warned me that no matter how strong you become, you can still fall victim to despair. You can still feel powerless. And she was right. After you collapsed that mountain gold, your hands your hands wouldn't stop shake my or my hands wouldn't stop shaking. 
If I made a mistake, if I failed to bind the light within you, I was terrified you would die. Even now, you could be moments from turning, and I wouldn't know how to set, know, know how to save you. You, Thancred, the others, you've all been there when I needed help, and Ophelia surrendered her, her life to me, her legacy. I should be ready to do the same for you, and I want to, I do, but I just... I'm not good enough. She told me to follow your example, and I've tried. I've really tried. Then you shouldn't, you shouldn't hang your head. I shouldn't? It's a horse fun. A fake can be cool, but a smile better suits the hero. I'm not sure I. <clears throat> Actually, never mind. I think I'll understand better if I try it for myself. No, nothing will come from come of brooding here in self pity. I've made my decision, Cecila. I'm going with you. All right. Sir! Welcome to the capital. All visitors must present, present an official right of permission before admittance will be granted. There you go. Your documents appear to be in order. You may proceed into the capital, but any guests you may, may, you may choose to bring with you must remain in your vicinity at all times. Makes sense. ありますね。見学者様。厳粛な場だ。規約は守っていただかないと。エメタセルク。忘れたのか。私が招いたのは世界を落とす化け物になったお前だ。そんな半端な水際で力を抑え込んでいる状態では何の役にも立ちやしないしかもまだそいつらとつるんでいるとはどうせ敵になると忠告しただろうそんなに寂しい金あら寂しがりはあなたの方ではなくてこんな町を作っても馬だたりするゾディアークの家になった当時の人々を蘇らせようとしているとかなるほど調子に乗っていろいろと作りすぎたらしい余計な泡でも混じっていたかまあ今さら隠すまでもない私たちの本会はまさに
それでお前は一体何をしに来た We came here to stop you. And I came for the Exarch too, but. Ah, Naruhodo. Karoj de Lise Naruchini. What a show to to you no ka. Sasuna e you samada. Hontoni. Ashi Nisa Karao Yatsua. いつの時代もそんな調子で嫌になる自分たちの主張こそ正義であり世界は自分たちのものであると傲慢にのたまうんだほーらその顔やっぱりちっとも分かっていない自分たちが踏みにじられるのは理不尽だと思うか古代人のために犠牲にされるのは不当だと私を見ろ他の誰よりも長くお前たちに混じって生きてきた共に飯を食らい戦い患い老いもした傍らで死を見送り時にはこうなしたことさえあるそうして幾度も計りその度に反じてきたのだお前たちは愚かで弱くこの星を守って生きていくには足りないと自身積み食いやバウスリーとの戦いで散々思い知ったばかりだろう己の無力を他者の傲慢をその命の脆さと故に生まれ続ける悲しみを<笑>なあ本当に。いつまでそんなことをしているどれだけうんざりさせたら気が済むんだ仮に世界の断りが再びほころび終末の最悪が起きたとして今の人類は半数が進んで自らを犠牲にできるのかいやできるわけがないお前たちだって世界を見てきたならできるだなんて言えないはずだそんななり損ないどもに任せておけるものか私は必ず同胞を友を良き人々をよみがえらせる世界は私たちのものだ待ってくれエメト・セルク君と私たちは本質的に同じものを守ろうとしている君は過去の友と愛すべきものを私たちは今と未来にいる友と愛すべきものを
同じでなどあるものかお前たちのようななり損ないより生きるべきは完全なるものだ違うと言うなら証明してみろお前たちが私たちよりも強く残るべき存在であるとの最悪私たちの時代の終わりにして我が執念の始まりお前たちを図るため今ひとたびのサイエント行こうじゃないか。私は最奥で待つ預かっている強情なお友達が苦痛で壊れる前に来いよ Well, <clears throat> the final dungeon has been unlocked. Well, the, at least the final dungeon for the base story, at least, I should say. All right, and this is where I'm going to be stopping. So, when we come back, we will dive into the fiery pits, visit and witness the world's end, and see if we can't earn our place. And knock down, knock Emmy Silk down a few pegs. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you then. Later.